Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're just going to go over how I'm going to paint Sonic on the side of the arcade build, PC arcade build that I'm doing. As you can see I've just sketched out the eyes and the mouth and the nose just putting in a rough little placement of where it's actually going to go and then obviously as I go down I'll be putting in the body, the legs and then the feet. I'm just simply using acrylic and also a little tub of water and a little plastic tray. It is, yes, a Chinese meal container, but it's perfect for painting. As I say, I'm using acrylics and I'm just sketching out with a white pencil where roughly where the head is, roughly where the mouth is, roughly where the body is. It won't be precise, but it just gives me a rough guide of where to put everything. So what I'll do, guys, is I will do a time lapse so I don't bore you and then stop it at certain parts where obviously I can then talk a little bit and maybe show the progress so far. Enjoy! So this is the colour, so it's really really off white so I can do highlights later on with the white and start to blend it in. Okay, so that's the base for the eyes itself. As you can see, it's a little rough around the edges, but it is just a base coat, just giving me a rough outline of what needs to be done. I'll continue with the hand. Move down to his feet.
Okay, so that's the base colours in for the white. So now I'm going to start building up all the other colours now. I'm going to start off with the chest and the mouth. Again, this is just going to be the base. So now I'm starting on the eyes and nose just with a simple black colour and then I will, it doesn't have to be perfectly shaped, it just has to be the rough outline and then I can touch up and go over things when I build up the white of the eye. So this is all about just basic shapes and building up the forms themselves. And then I can paint over to tidy it up to make sure it looks symmetrical and just build it up really nice as long as the basic shapes are in it helps me then I, I call it like modeling with paint so I can literally just go go over what I've done already so it doesn't really matter if I make mistakes because I can just literally paint over it. So now I'm starting with the belly but I've changed the consistency, I've changed the hue, I've gone with a, a darker colour obviously to create the shadows So as you can see now, I'm starting to build up the colours, really start to make it look 3D. But again, this is just the base guys, it just gives me a rough idea of where I can put the shadows. Do I need to go darker? So now, I don't know if you can see, but I've got a mixture of yellow, crimson, white. Uh, I'm going to start blending in like the highlights.
Okay, so it's starting to take shape now, guys. I don't know if you can see, but I'm starting to get the form. I'm starting to blend in the colours. Trying to get the contrast. But yeah, it's looking good so far. So we're going to continue on for it today. But obviously, it literally does take a lot of time. Like, so far, I think it's took about... To coming up to close to an hour and 45 minutes so far which is quite a while i'm going to start on the feet and then i'm going to concentrate on the hands and all the ripples and as you can see with it being rough i've kept it really really light where the shadows are just so i can understand which way the light direction is coming in but this one's going to be concentrating on that fixing up the eyes touching up the highlights Water in the paints down so I can now start to like blend and go over it, which is pretty cool. And then just build up from that. So yeah, it will be another case of time lapse. Hope you enjoy guys. Love to know what you think so far. And yeah, I'll see you at the end.
Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there for now. So I've started making sure that I can get the shadows of the hand. So I know, let me take the camera off the tripod just so we can get a bit closer. Obviously, the reflections. So I've started to blend the shapes. I'll also blend the dark patch at the top there, the grey. I'll blend that all in. I haven't put the eye uh, level it but I can just go over that as you can see I've started to blend in the top of the fingers these will go down but I'm just separating the darks and the lights separating the darks and the lights obviously for Sonic itself so as you can see it's not blended in yet but it's starting to take shape obviously the ears I've got to do the ears blend in make the highlights darker make the lights lighter I've started doing it with the shoes as well. So yeah, love to know what you think guys, so far. <clears throat> Let me move back a bit, so hopefully we can get a good shot. So there's the boots and the ankles. As we go up, as you can see, we started with the belly. So all the basic shapes are just starting in there. It's just a case of blending and just keep building on the colours really, putting the highlights in. Yeah, I'd love to know what you think guys. Um, I may as well show you what else I did. So I've put some, I got some sticker packs, they're vinyl stickers, so they're waterproof and they are, you had to get a hairdryer and hair dryer them on, they're not coming off anytime soon. So they're pretty cool. So I ordered a mouse mat. So I, I have the mouse mat. I also ordered the Logitech to go with it. So we now have a wireless mat. I've put a bit of white grip at the bottom, like door insulation, just to keep it on there. Move the key rings. The key rings are going either side at the top. These two key rings here will be going on here, but obviously I'm gonna take off the top part here and then they're going to be stuck on there and then Sonic Sonic Love is going to be painted with some little motifs and choreographs off the game itself. I've got a nice Sega logo there. All these stickers, everyone was saying that they're too much but I kind of like it. I'm going to paint the actual game itself, obviously the, the orange floor, well the, the orange cliffs, the green grass. I'm gonna do that right away across here. I also had the pad matching also. I've put two little nubs there at the bottom just so it can rest on, so it doesn't go anywhere. Also stickers underneath as well. Craziness. Yeah, obviously I will be painting Sonic on this side also. But yeah, love to know what you think of it so far, guys. It's really starting to come along. I've ordered the poly uh, poly filler, so all these little bits here will be filled in, all smoothed out, so it'll be one flushed, yeah, unit. We put that over the sides here because with MDF, the edges never do really, really well. So sand it down, make sure it's all nice and smooth, and then respray it, so it's all nice and neat. This side is going to have a hinge here, here and here and then this then can literally fold up so i can get inside but yeah love to know what you think guys this is it so far so yeah i think it's starting to come along well paintings always look better from afar but obviously i've still got lots to do on it but yeah i would absolutely love to know what you think of sonic the hedgehog and hand painted I know I paint digitally, guys, but I do. I can actually paint traditional as well. It's my favourite, but it takes a long time and you can't make mistakes. Uh, well, you can, but just not big ones. But yeah, love to know what you think, guys. And as always, take care.